Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to review the Kylo Ren figure from Star Wars A Force Awakens. There are multiple versions of this. Um, this is the hooded and masked version. I can't remember what line it's in because there's like a jungle line and a space line. I think this is the jungle one. But uh, first, <laughs> let's take a look at the card. So move him. Um, as you can see, it's got some nice artwork of him right here. Looks just like the figure with the hood and the mask. Um, I do like the light. I do like the art. Mm, just shows off um, a good portion of him instead of just a bust. And then up here, you got the regular Kylo Ren that's on most of the packaging. Um, that's just kind of the branding. And then here, it shows the three figures and the Build-A-Weapon parts that we'll get into later. And then you combine them together and it makes a thing. I don't really know what it is. But up here it tells you a little bit about him and shows you what you're supposed to do with the build a weapon thing. Uh, not a whole lot to the card, but I guess we'll get into the figure now. So here he is. Uh, I think he looks really neat, especially compared to some of the other kylo ren figures he is all just black uh there's like some silver on his belt and on his mask obviously but the rest is just black there's a lot of good detailing though on it it's kind of hard to see uh there there okay so you can see all the wrinkles in it and the texturing on his outfit this is belt. His shit that the belt is just a smooth piece of plastic with the buckle. Um, his arms have this like wrapping almost. His helmet. This is just silver. Not a whole lot to it. And then the hood does go down it is just part of the head though you can't take it off uh and then one complaint i do have about the figure though is that when you lift this arm up it pops his head off because this is a separate piece and it hangs down so when you hit his head his move, move his hand up it knocks his head off and his head is already loose to begin with so that does kind of suck but this one can go fine so if you put if you're playing with it and you put his lightsaber in this hand instead of normally his right hand um it still works it works a lot better i just don't like his head popping off all of the time uh soon i'm going to lose it but uh next we'll go to the the not the figure the accessories so his lightsaber is really nice if you can see there's a lot of texturing on it since it is um ooh, i can't remember what it, this crystal called oh it's unstable it's like an unstable crystal so it you can actually see the texturing on it and then it's got i can't uh the guards right here the i wish this was like black instead of a silver it looks kind of weird but there is some nice detailing on it on the hilt and it blends really nice right here there's no like silver paint going onto the blade which is nice and it is a little transparent which is nice to see and then lastly is the build a weapon figure i have absolutely no clue what this is supposed to be it is not in the movie it is this claw thing that hinges right here does have this peg to attach to the other build a weapon figures and you're supposed to hold it right here let's see if i can get him to do that he's not even very good at holding it but i guess it's just like a claw grabber thing i guess i honestly do not know um yeah 
kind of a dumb accessory. Uh, it, oh, sorry. Oh, I totally forgot. He is only five points of articulation. So those at the elbows, the legs, and head turns, but not a whole lot without the head popping off. Oh, yep. See, there it goes. Um, and the legs are just a whole molded piece. So you can see his foot inside of there. And the robe just kind of goes around it. Which, it looks cool, but having the bigger robe kind of hinders him from getting in some vehicles and things. But, uh, I mean, the if you want a Kylo Ren in his Kylo Ren and TIE Fighter or whatever, I mean, that comes with a figure that fits in there. So, uh, not he's not really going to be in many other vehicles. But... Overall, um, I do really like this figure. Again, I don't like the head popping off, but I think it, it's still really nice. Um, here is him compared to just a regular resistance trooper. He is a little bit taller since, I don't know, bad guys are tall and cool. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked it and... I don't know. Yeah, goodbye. Thank you.